Down on your knees now! It's a show of force. All right, sit forward. At Piscataway Citizens Police Academy, a how-to for throwing on the cuffs. A window into police work that may be needed now more than ever. We present them a broader picture of police work rather than what is uh, seen on TV shows or, or news clips. For Piscataway, the move is getting closer to the community and teaching them what policing is all about. Instead of just reading uh, statistics or uh, um, how much money or uh, is being spent on a budget in that situation, they might understand really where the money goes and how it's used. Command. Control. Walter Riblin wants a career in law enforcement. And while he's concerned over cuts at departments, he believes his path could start here. Me personally, I'm 24, so I have a few years to go. So I'm hoping that some, you know, by some point in the future, things do pick up and uh, you know, jobs do open up. But at the Citizens Academy, connections are forged for a new way to police. Not everyone here will become an officer, but the hope is they'll all help in their own way. In Piscataway, Ranji Sinha, News 12, New Jersey. Edward Dwyer's story. This is, um, this is the Quigleys, 314, this is the Tramplers. Mike Kelly used to be the chief of police in, in Union Beach. This is his door, 311 Broadway, which is uh, Gabe and Tracy Farisi. Gigi Door is opening the doors, and not just to a new restaurant. My last name is Door. Gigi Door, D-O-R-R. -R. So I kept thinking, Door, what am I going to do with Door? What am I going to do with Door, Door? When her restaurant, Jacobob's on the Bay, was destroyed by Sandy and is now demolished, she wanted to honor the families in Union Beach who'd lost their homes. And then all of a sudden I went, oh! and Marissa goes, what's the matter? And I was like, we'll make doors. We'll go collect doors and we'll make tables out of doors. What did you do? How did you ask uh, if, for if these? There was rubble everywhere. And I would knock and I would say, we're doing a project. Do you mind if we take your door? When Jacobob's reopens next week in the former Seven Days Bar on Union Avenue, the tabletops will be made of doors with their original house numbers, including this one. Look how beat up it is, too. 705 Front Street, the yellow brick house split in two that became an iconic image of the storm's destruction. At some point, did it ever get sad for you. I mean, these belong to some of your customers. These were their homes. Actually, for me, it's hope. It really is hope. It, it's, keeping, it's keeping the community together. Each of the doors is being cleaned, bleached, repainted, and then given a new purpose in the recovery of this community. I think God hit that reset button. You know, folks, hello, wake up. This is, you know, this is, and now everybody's kind of pulling together. It's really what, it's great. In Union Beach, John Bathke, News 12, New Jersey. The first vehicle I ever owned was a 1969 Camaro. David Zimmerman says he thought he'd found his dream car, a mint condition 69 Camaro with only 36,000 miles that had just won first prize at a Florida car show. After reading an exhaustive 51 page write up about the car posted on eBay, he paid a Florida dealer more than $74,000 for what he thought would be a great investment. This car potentially should have been worth in excess of $100,000. As a collector of classic muscle cars, Zimmerman knew that he should have it appraised. So he had Jerry McNeish, the nation's foremost expert on Chevy Camaros, take a look. He says McNeish came back with bad news. He told me it was the most fraudulent Camaro he had ever seen. Made my blood boil. When Zimmerman realized that he may have been ripped off for nearly $75,000, he went to the New Jersey State Police. They sent a team of investigators down to Manalapan and they disassembled the car and confirmed his worst fears. Like a Frankenstein car. Yeah. Whole bunch of parts and pieces and it came back to life. Zimmerman says the Florida dealer took the engine, drivetrain and transmission from an 81 Camaro that had been sitting in a junkyard for 15 years and put the body of a restored 69 Camaro on top. He says this type of fraud is prevalent at classic car auctions. It appears that the alleged fraudster Thomas Don, who was also in the boat business, had done this to others. One of Don's customers even posted this website warning other potential buyers to beware. In Manalapan, Sean Bergen, News 12, New Jersey. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! A whole lot of green at the new Meadowlands Stadium, and not just on Jets fans and their extremely large hands, multicolored faces, or entire bodies. Just like this guy, the entire facility has gone green. It's all green and white. If you're here at the opening, you know, it feels like home now. Everything is, is Jets. It's like we're not playing a giant stadium anymore. After years of borrowing the field from the Giants at the old Meadowlands, the two local teams are now sharing the new one. But only the stadium, not the decor. 
the old stadium was red and blue. It was called Giant Stadium. The seats were red and blue, and uh, we would do our best to try to cover up those signs. No more covering up. Now they've got their own lights, signs, and field covers that go green before every game. I'm all green. I bleed green, baby! A lot of it is changed in an instant with basically a flip of a switch, but a lot is also done by hand. Every flag, every banner, and even things like these bumpers that surround the light posts have to go from gangrene to big blue and back. There's over 750 individual items that get changed over, and that doesn't include the 30,000 items in this store that get changed over. The Jets store even has a green glow to allow fans to get their green on as they make themselves at home in their new home. This is the Jet Stadium. I'll just let you Giant fans know, this is the Jet Stadium. Well, at least until the next home Giants game. In East Rutherford, Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey. It's not every day you find a classically trained dancer with moves like this greeting grocery store customers. <laughs> but for Carol Lupo, this is every day. She's a dancer, a mom of three adult sons, and a popular cashier at the Jersey City A&P. Is it true you're 64? No, well, no, it's not true I'm 64. I, I'm much younger, I'm 63. <laughs> And at 63, Carol is an alum of the hit NBC show America's Got Talent, voted off just weeks ago after making it into the top 40 quarterfinals. To go out there and to have the feeling that you can actually begin to live the dreams that you've held, that I'll speak for myself, that I have held inside myself my whole life. Last week, Carol spent her first day back at work since competing, getting lots of hugs and well wishes from co-workers and customers with no idea she has so much talent. We talked about it, but I really never saw her dance until TV. She really did good. It makes you happy looking at her. Mm -hmm. You know, it lifts your day to see someone that's, you know. For now, Carol will continue dancing and working with no plans to quit her day job. The people with me here worked with me to, to allow me to take the time to work with this chance of a lifetime. A chance Carol says she has no regrets taking, even if she didn't go all the way. Derek Dennis, News 12, New Jersey. You've made your lists and are checking them twice. Lasagna, cranberries. Sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, corn. New doing? Jersey's grocery stores are packed as tea day quickly approaches. Shoppers are showing up, but are they spending? Did you do anything different? Are you doing anything differently this year? Um, not really, no. Um, not as far as Thanksgiving goes. Most Garden State shoppers we ask say while they are trying to stick to sale items and use coupons, they refuse to sacrifice tradition for savings. I don't have a very big family, so I won't skimp when it comes to my family. But can you have a typical turkey day on a budget? We took the challenge and planned a traditional menu for six. With a list of just the basics, we hit the shop right in Woodbridge, keeping an eye out for savings. The bulk of your bill is going to be your turkey, frozen usually cheaper than fresh. But here's a tip from the experts. If you haven't bought your turkey, say, by about Monday night, you're going to have to go with the fresh because they say you can't defrost something like this by Thanksgiving. We grab stuffing and gravy. Oh, three for a dollar on these. Cranberry sauce and ingredients for two veggie dishes, candied yams and string bean casserole. For dessert, we're going to splurge a little. I've got a fresh made apple walnut pie, $10.99. I'm also going to save you some money for a buck ninety-nine, a ShopRite pre-made pumpkin pie. And for those with a sweet tooth, I'm going to make you some brownies, $1.29 with my club card. At checkout, we add it all up and get our final tally. With our club card savings, just under 50 bucks. Well, the Rock Carnival has exactly that, a carnival taking place here at the Oak Ridge Park, but it also has major rock acts performing on multiple stages all throughout the park. Lots to see in a small space. We got incredible weather. It's awesome and it feels still a little bit like summer. This weekend, rock and roll comes to New Jersey. Cover bands alongside Slash, Stone Temple Pilots, Skid Row, LA Guns, and more in Clark, New Jersey. We are honored to be here. Honored, absolutely honored. You know, to, to, to feel this music welcomed, 
for, you know, is, is awesome. Yes, you heard right. We're rocking the suburbs of Clark. Rock and roll royalty will hit stages in Oak Ridge Park this weekend. The loudest way to say so long to summer. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> lots of good music, lots of good rides, awesome food. Uh -huh. Awesome. I can't wait until Sunday. Clark's Rock Carnival features nearly 50 acts, but it also features 50 food trucks. We actually live in Clark and our restaurants in North Edison, so this is going to bring so much publicity to the town that we live in and work in. A full carnival fills out the space along with a full beer garden and laid back summer style. On the flip side, you have roaring rock. None roar like Ozzy Osbourne. The band Osmosis will rock his hits to bring summer to its knees. It's great to be here. It's great to do this music. We love Ozzy Osbourne. He's a fantastic guy. So soak up the sun and send off summer with the sirens of rock and roll. <laughs> So a weekend of major festivities in store. If you love rock and roll and the end of summer, this definitely is the place to be. In Clark, New Jersey, Runji Sinha, News 12 New Jersey. An engine rev for nine-year-old Daniel, hot dogs for eight-year-old Ariana, claps for 17-year-old Steven, and a motorcycle ride for all of them. The kindness of their heart really touches us. Steven Yang and Ariana McGuire both suffered brain injuries and accidents, and Daniel Zawoski developed a brain tumor. 1,000 bikers rode from Rockaway Township to Newark to party and raise money to help cover the kids' medical bills. To see a community and organizations come together and support, support my daughter and other children like my daughter, it's, it's amazing. It absolutely, it's, it's just amazing. Ariana's injury happened when she was struck by an arrow a year ago. It has affected her walking and her speech. Her father says after insurance, he's still left with a $100,000 tab. There's only a certain number of things they, 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 they cover. Every penny that comes in from a t-shirt sale, every dime from the $20 admission fee to the rally, is money that goes straight to the four families. The event is run by the Blue Knights, a law enforcement motorcycle club. We're trying to put a dent in some uh, medical bills that they don't have the money to pay. Most medical insurance pay 80%. But 20% that's not paid. But 1,000 bikers did their part to pitch in. In Rockaway Township, Dave Grunebaum, News 12, New Jersey.